welcome back to my channel. I just want to film a quick swatch party video for you. I was so excited to get my hands on the Luxy Beauty Summer Sinner Collection and here it is in all of its glory. These are all beautiful shimmer eyeshadows. There are 11 of them and honestly I probably didn't need this but I wanted it mostly for this pink shade and they restocked them and I hopped right on it. So if you want to see the swatches of the Summer Sinner Collection, just keep watching. I will go ahead and leave a link for this collection down below. I don't remember the prices or anything. I think I got it for like $45 or something. And I know Angelica has a code as well. So if you want to save a little bit of money, you can do that. Here is the first shade. It is called Get Naked. It's a beautiful champagne color. And I haven't even swatched these, you guys. So we're swatching them together for the first time. This is a beautiful shade. Oh my goodness. It's like... Wow, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a, it looks like a champagne in the pan, but once I swatch it, it has like a heavy mint green like undertone to it. Obsessed. I'm so glad I'm swatching these so I can start playing with them. This next shade is called Trippin'. So pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like an icy blue shade. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It's like a pastel purpley icy color how gorgeous it looks so good with my tan girl okay i'm gonna swatch this one this is called walk of shame this one looks like oh god it was very crumbly 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 miss oh wow it's a very flaky shadow there it is look at my fingers Are you guys living for this moment right now Stunning. Oh, that last one though was a little bit, a little bit of a hot mess. We'll have to see how that works on my eyes. Okay, so there are some neutral looking shades in this collection, like this one called Baked. Let me go ahead and swatch. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Are you kidding me? Hello, gorgeous. The shade is called Tease, and it's like a beautiful champagne-y color again. This one's crumbly too. It has a duochrome though. Wow. Do you guys see it? It has like a pink duochrome. Hopefully you can see it. You can see it on my fingers. This is insane. I wish they weren't so crumbly though. It's kind of weird. This one is called Lockjaw. Pretty. It's like a beautiful peachy color. Wow, that one looks almost exactly like this one up here. Weird. <laughs> Hope they didn't just like accidentally label those wrong. That is so bizarre. <laughs> now I'm gonna swatch some fun colors. Oh my gosh. You guys know I'm living for yellow. This is called Lick It, Slam It, and Suck It. It's another yellow. This one is very crumbly as well. Maybe it'll be different when I'm working with a brush. It has like a beautiful lemon vibe. Super cool. Grabbing the next shade, which is called Slurp. I live for a good green, green blue shade. Again, that one's crumbly too. So weird. How pretty. I can't get over the texture, but once I blend it, it's gorgeous. Look at my fingers. Are you like living for this situation right now? Okay, here's the one I was really excited for because I'm also living for pinks right now. And this one is called Sex on the Beach. Oh my god, that used to be my go-to drink in college because it basically tasted like coconut. What do you guys think of that one? It's got a beautiful like purple flip. Super pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, two shades left. This is Tipsy. It's a beautiful blue. Ooh, pigmented. Those pops of blue guys all over the place this summer. There it is. And then the last shade is a darker blue called Sidekick. Wow. 
is gorgeous. It has like a teal flip to it. I feel like my husband would like this color. Did it swatch okay? Wow. It is so gorgeous. Look at it on my fingers. I think you might be able to see it better. Ah! So pretty, you guys. So here is the Luxie Summer Sinner collection. So excited to have gotten my hands on this. I will report back to you guys. I actually have a shit ton of shadows from Luxie I need to test out. I bought their Liquid Metals collection. I bought some of the shades from their Pink House collection, which feels like forever ago, but I don't think it was even that long ago. And it's crazy even how fast the indie brands move because I always feel like they've got new tricks up their sleeve. So thank you, Luxie Beauty, for creating such beautiful things. And I'm always here to buy them, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so these are gorgeous, and I'm so excited to put them on my eyeballs, and I will report back to you guys on how these shadows do. If you picked up these shadows, let me know what your favorite shade is. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, what the heck are you waiting for? Definitely go ahead and do that down below. Leave me a comment. And I will catch you on my video that is coming up, not tomorrow, but the next day because I upload every other day. And yeah, you get quite a bit of content from me. So we'll see you then. Bye, guys.